Hi everyone, so in this video I'm going to go over how to set up a variable product using WooCommerce. So variable products are products that have different, essentially variations, um, and these can be size variations, color variations, any kind of attribute that gives customers an option for a product. Um, that would then be essentially a variable product where it's essentially the same product but different sort of versions of it. Um, so what you want to do is navigate to the products tab and you want to click add new to start adding the new product. And same as a simple product, um, you've got the sort of product name. Um, and then you've got sort of like the product description, you've got product images, the product category of tags, that's all the same and essentially all of the data is the same as well. Um, but then what you want to do is once you uh, add in all of that information, you want to go into product data and under product type, you want to select a variable product. And you can see things uh, slightly change here. So um, same with the inventory, um, you just type in an SKU number and this will help you organize sort of uh, different products once you have lots of them. And you can decide if you want to manage stock at a quantity level. So if there's a certain number um, that you, there is, you can always uh, set, the, set in a certain number, allow back orders, low stock threshold, things like that. Um, however, you can do this per variable product and I'll show you in a minute. And you can also do sort of sold individually. So you can limit purchases to one item per order if you wanted to do it that way as well. Uh, shipping rules are still the same as the simple product. So um, you can set different weights, uh, dimensions, things like that. And you can set different shipping classes as well if there's a certain um, delivery uh, fee or delivery method that only works for this particular product. And you can set the upsells and cross sales. So the upsells is if you want people to essentially buy a more expensive version of the product, um, you can search for another product that's similar to this product um, and it'll show in sort of like the related products uh, section on the page um, and the cross sales will show on the checkout depending on what theme you're using. Um, and essentially it's a product that kind of goes with this product as well. Um, as we mentioned in the previous video about uh, simple products. Um, this part is probably the newest part and this is called the attributes tab. Um, so with the attributes, this is essentially the options that the, uh, your product has. So if your product, so for example, is a t-shirt, it'll have different color options maybe, um, and it'll have different size options. So the color and size are different attributes of this product. So to add a color attribute, attribute, what you want to do is click on custom product attribute and click add. And you can see, uh, you can set up the attributes that way. You want to add the attribute name and you want to add the value. So this is the, say, the size attribute. And you want to add the different vi size values. Um, so if the size value is large, medium, and small. And then you want to click, make sure that these values are visible on the product page and that they're used for variations so that uh, essentially they're used for users to make an option choice and you want to click save attributes. So now we have our size attribute and we want to add another one for color um, because this t-shirt comes in different colors. So you want to add the different color um, name and you would just again add the different colors and you would separate it with this separator um, text here. So you've got red, blue, green, yellow. And you can obviously add as many colors as you want, just depends on how many um, color options that they have. And then again, you want to click use for variations and you want to click save attributes. Now we get into the variations tab and um, by default, you would need to add all the variations yourself. Um, so there's different ways you can do it. You can click add variation and this will add one variation and you can decide which variation it is. So um, if you want to add the variation for a large red shirt so this very this variation is for a uh, shirt in red and it's enlarged and if you click into the drop down you can see you've got different options it's the same options that you have up here and with the simple ones but it's for specifically the large red t-shirt so you can add its own image you can add its own sku number you can add your pricing in here you can add your own stock in here as well um if you were to click uh manage stock at stock level um then the stock you won't see the stock uh option here because 
essentially the stocks being managed here. So um, just to be aware of that. Um, but you can uh, essentially stack, uh, do your own sort of weight classes, SIP shipping classes, give it its own description as well. So you can fully uh, add different information for this um, variation if you wanted to. And then if you wanted to add another variation, um, you would just click add variation, click go, and it'll add another variation. And it would maybe be for the large blue t-shirt. And again, same thing, you can add a different image, different SKU number, uh, different weights, prices, all of that you can change. Um, so you can really uh, make it custom and you can really sort of uh, add different information with different variations. Um, depending on how many variations you have, it might be a lot to kind of add them one by one. Um, so what you want to do is instead of adding variations one by one, you want to click onto the drop down and click create variations from all attributes. So what that does is um, it'll look at the attributes that you have and it'll automatically add all of the possible variations. Um, and it says so 12 variations added. Um, when it when it runs this, it'll only add uh, 50 at a time. So if you've got quite a few variations, then um, that go over 50, then you might need to run that twice to add all of the variations. Um, but essentially you can see all the variations being added. There's a large red t-shirt, blue t-shirt, uh, green t-shirt in large, the medium t-shirts in red, blue and green, the small t-shirts in red, blue and green. Um, so that's all added here. If there's a variation in here that actually isn't available, so like the, for example, the t-shirt doesn't actually come in a small red, then you can just remove that as an option fully. So they won't have that as an option. They won't be able to select that as an option. Um, and again, all you need to do is click into each of these and add its own uh, uh, descriptions as well. Until you add a price to all of them, they're not going to show in it in the store. So just to be aware of that. So that's what they're, that this yellow box is saying here. Um, another thing to kind of speed the process up a little bit as well is uh, if all of these have the same price, then what you can do is click onto the drop down and you can go into the pricing top tab or trap pricing option and click set regular prices. Um, so this is essentially set the pricing, this price here, and you want to click go and then it'll ask you to enter a value. So this is essentially the value of the price of the product. So for example, say 25. And what that does is, is this sets the pricing for all of them to 25. So if they all have the same regular pricing, then that's a, just a really quick way to add the price. And you can do that with different things as well. So with the status, um, you can toggle all of them enabled. Um, you can increase regular pricing. Um, so if you decide, so they're all 25 right now, but if you decide actually they're going to be all 35, you can increase the price by a fixed amount. You can decrease the price by a fixed amount. You can set the inventory for all of them all at once um, and things like that. So if there's an option here um, and they all have the same options, what you can do is click on the drop down and essentially edit the information that way. And that way it'll change all of them instead of you having to go in one by one. Um, and then uh, I same with the similar products. Once you're done adding the variations, you can go into advanced and you can add a purchase note if you needed to. Um, and what you want to do is just uh, continue adding uh, all of the information. Make sure the short description is added, tags, product categories, uh, product gallery as well um, is all added. Um, before you publish as well. And similar to the to anything else in WordPress, you can either publish it immediately or you can save it as a draft. Um, you can decide if you want it to be with products. You can decide if you want it to be in sure, shop and search results. If it's only for one to be in the shop, search results only, or if it's just fully hidden. Um, but once you're happy with everything, you just want to click publish to just finally publish um, your product and have it ready for people to buy. If we were to click into that now, Um, you can see the product here. So you can see under additional information, it'll show you that the there's different options for size and color. Again, this just depends on what theme you're using. But you can see that I can pick the two color options and the, the two options for size and color. And I'm not allowed to add to cart until I choose one. So I can choose a large in the blue. And now I can add to cart. Um, small in the red, I can add to cart. Um, so yeah, it's a really good way to sort of add different color options or different size options, whatever the variation is, you just add it as an attribute and then just essentially add all the details for specifically that attribute.